Hey there, Tiffany Thomas with WealthyTiffany.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you three bad financial habits to break right now. And before we dive in, if you are serious about fast tracking your financial freedom, then click the link below this video in the description and I can help you do that. All right, let's talk about these three bad financial habits to break today um, so that you can start improving your money situation and eventually become financially free. So habit number one that I wanna talk about is not having a plan or a goal for your money. And I talk about this a lot. I think it's really important to set goals to have something you're working toward. And when you do this with money, it makes a huge difference. Um, so for example, maybe you wanna take a trip somewhere. You wanna to go to Italy or Hawaii or Bali. So you wanna set aside a certain amount of money and um, you know have that goal that you're working toward. And you can start to think about um, you know when you spend money, and you can think, okay, well, maybe I would rather put this money toward my Hawaii fund. Um, so if you have some sort of purpose, it really helps you um, with your money situation overall because you're really focused on that rather than not having a plan and just kind of spending and floating along and not really accomplishing any goals. Uh, so really think about what you want to accomplish with your money and for my example, I want to achieve financial freedom by age 40. Uh, so that's my goal right now. That's my huge money goal. Um, so everything that I'm doing is going toward that goal. I'm trying to invest my money better and not spend on frivolous things that aren't really important to me. Decide on what you want for your goal or what your plan is for your money. And then habit number two is not thinking about the opportunity costs associated with your money. So if you spend your money on going to the movies and going out to dinner, instead of something that you would value more, maybe you really love running and you want a new pair of running shoes, but you feel like you haven't been able to afford that. Um, but when you start thinking about opportunity costs when you are spending your money, you can start to think, okay, would I rather be spending my money right now on something that's not that important to me? Um, or would I rather put that towards something that is going to improve my life and help me be happier? So really start thinking about the opportunity costs. And I wanna give this example. Um, I heard this in a book that I read recently and it talks about how when you are purchasing a large purchase, like a car, for example, and you're already spending, let's say 15 grand, um, and then the car dealer says, hey, would you like to add you know, this really cool radio for an extra $300 or get the heated seats for an extra $500? I have no idea how much this stuff costs. I'm just giving random examples. Um, but they kind of just you know, throw out these extra items. And so sometimes we think, oh, well, I'm already spending 15 grand. What's 500 more? What's you know, 300 more on top of that? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Um, but we really need to think, what else could I be spending that money on that's going to be more important to me, that's going to add even more value to my life? Uh, maybe there's you know, a trip you wanna take with a loved one and you haven't been able to do that. Um, so instead of you know, just aimlessly kind of spending this money, really think about the opportunity costs and what's going to bring you more value, what's going to bring you more happiness think, okay, once this money is spent, I can't spend it on anything else. It's gone. So make sure you're spending your money on things that you value, that are important to you. And really think about, okay, well, what else would I want to be spending my money on um, rather than just kind of swiping the credit card and going along with your day. Um, okay, and then number three, the third bad financial habit to break right now is not keeping an eye on your money. Um, sometimes, especially with credit cards, we just swipe that credit card and don't really think about it. And then we get our statement and we are like, whoa, what did I spend my money on this month? Really keeping an eye on your money is really going to help you create a better financial situation for yourself. And one way that I really like to do this is to use a free app. It's called Personal Capital, and it links all of your financial institutions into one place, into their app. So you can link all of your uh, credit cards that you have or your auto loan or checking or savings, um, even your retirement accounts or your mortgage. 
um, everything you can think of related to money. You can link them all to personal capital and they will show you um, every you know dollar that's going out and coming in and also your retirement accounts if they're increasing or decreasing and the fees associated with those. Um, so you can just check your whole money situation in one place in about a minute. So you just have to open the app and it just refreshes. It takes maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And you can see you know, if your paycheck came in or if your um, credit card was paid when you scheduled it, um, everything that's going on. So you can just take a few minutes each day or if that's too much, once a week, whatever works for you. Um, but you can really keep an eye on your money this way and it makes it very simple. And, you know, <laughs> to give you an example, I just think about um, subscriptions that people have signed up for and they don't even use and they've totally forgotten about them. So they'll, you know, look at their money like six months later and be like, oh, I've been billed this pa the past six months for this certain subscription that I forgot about that I don't even use. Um, so if we're keeping an eye on our money, we can avoid things like that. Uh, so really start to do that to just kind of keep an eye on your money and see what's happening and it will help you become more aware of what you're spending your money on and you can decide if that's really where you want to be spending your money or if it's not you can change it. Hopefully these um, three bad habits um, are helpful to you and you can you know become better at managing your money and reaching your money goals. Uh, so if you found this video helpful, please like it and share it with someone else who needs to hear this information. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you guys comment below and tell me other content that you would like me to create for you. And also if there's other habits that you are going to take action on uh, that maybe you've thought about while watching this video, comment below and tell me what they are so that we can support one another in becoming better at managing our money. And if you guys are serious about fast tracking your financial freedom, click the link below this video in the description and I can help you do that. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.